But the amount of food I've been eating is outstanding. And if the food didn't taste good, I, I'd have a hard time choking it down. What's up, Muscle and Strength? I'm Dorian Haywood. I'm a perfect sport athlete. I'm gonna invite you to my home today to show you a full day of eating. Come on in. This dog's got an uncanny ability to catch anything fairly quickly. I was just bragging about you, bro. Let's try again. <laughs> the supplement regimen. I got about 15 pills in here I take every morning. Meal number one, giant cup of acai berry juice. Got five eggs with five ounces of turkey and spinach and two packs of maple brown sugar oats. So I'm getting ready to head over to the gym. It's that time, about an hour before my workout, so I'm gonna go ahead and mix up my pre-workout. Perfect Sport sent me some altered state, so this is a great pre-workout I've been using for several months now. It's kind of hard to time things out to get all this food in just right, but I manage to make it happen every day. But food, straight to work, work, workout, food. So I've got um, two people I'm going to be training today, and I've got a couple consultations after that. So I just finished working out. This is gonna be meal two. It's kind of a quick digesting, smaller meal. We got three scoops of diesel. And I got some of these heavenly hunks. These are 120 calories a piece. So I'm about 800 calories right here. If I had some olive oil with me, I'd throw it in on top of this, but I don't have it today. That's okay. I'll make up for it in calories later. It's not something I eat all the time, but it's something like today, because I know we're gonna be kind of moving around going to a couple different places. I didn't really have time to get a, a full-size meal in. Plus, right after a workout, it's hard for, I'm kind of nauseous anyways because I've been pushing myself hard. So it's hard to get a solid meal in. So I think this is perfect for right after a workout. All this stuff's really easy to digest and I can take it down in like under five minutes. So we were just kind of having a discussion about blood work and the importance of keeping yourself healthy as a bodybuilder and you were asking me you know if I get my blood work done and I have it right here I just got it done recently you just got to make sure that all your um, levels are in a healthy range between your cardiac health panel your metabolic panel your CBC I mean these are the blood markers that are going to give you indicators if you have some type of disease in your system or potential for disease in your system so if you're thinking about doing this long term and you're thinking about doing this on the level that I am, 
got to get your blood work done regularly because if not, you're leaving yourself at a potential risk. By doing this, you can kind of identify where those risks are and eliminate them. All right, so here we are. We're taking a cruise up to Evergreen, Colorado. There's a farm I found out here. It's a bison farm called Adams Family Meats. You know, one thing that I've been doing with my proteins over the past few years is really just diversifying my protein intake and trying to get proteins from multiple different sources to get different type of amino spectrums. That and mixing my proteins. And this bison farm has been great because the quality of the meat, you can't beat it. And it's fairly lean, so it's a healthy meat for a bodybuilder to eat. These guys are being harvested next week, so they're kind of limited on steak stock from what they said. So I'm just gonna get in and see what they have. It's hard to go wrong with their bison burger. It's excellent, it's generally one of the cheaper things they have. But uh, we'll see what they got. We'll take it from there. Look at this bison breakfast sausage. It's wonderful. It's lean and it's got plenty of flavor. So total here today, $511 on bison meat. Not my record here, but close. All right, this is meal three. Let me break it down for you. I've got a ribeye steak here, just over 10 ounces, about a cup of asparagus, and I've got 12 ounces of sweet rice. On top of that, I've got salt, some coconut milk, and some wild blueberry preserves. Meal four, diesel protein. Um, I'm gonna do three scoops of this diesel protein. I'm gonna add some healthy fats into it. with Some extra virgin olive oil here in a second. And I like to add a little bit more calories to it, specifically from carbohydrates. I'm gonna have a few of these dates and some of these keto clusters. Just kind of fill that caloric void. Scoop one, there's 27 grams. I think whey is one of the most bioavailable proteins you can get. On top of that, it's super easy to digest. Put those two combinations together, it's great for making muscle. Okay. How many tablespoons do you think you're? I think that's four or five tablespoons. This is an easy way to get in a lot of nutrients. If every single meal you eat a solid meal, and kind of going back to what I was talking about earlier, I'm alternating my meals. I'm going a solid meal for breakfast, liquid meal. Solid meal, liquid meal, solid meal, liquid meal for six total meals. It makes it a lot easier to get that many calories now. Sometimes I'll go out and play. I'll go play out in Denver sometimes. And it seems like what I do all day long is so athlete driven. The people I'm around are very like kind of jock-ish, you know. Uh, they're focusing on exercise and meathead stuff, which is great, you know. I'm, I'm into that too, but 
I'm also in other things and different types of personalities. So I think it's good to get out and kind of be artistic and be creative and be around those different types of people and personalities. got these Alaskan salmon burgers. They're wild caught salmon. Great source of protein, great source of omega-3 fatty acids. It's super simple to cook. I got this pan already hot on medium. I'll throw two of these in here. 40 grams of protein like that. Five minutes on each side and you're done. I want to go ahead and give a product call out to Dave's Badass Bread who makes these whole grain and seed buns. They're more expensive than normal buns, but they're fantastic. Put on one side a half of an avocado, on the other side some hot sauce, two salmon burgers, and it's golden. Over here, hot sauce, and my, my preference is the Frank's Red Hot. Of uh, meal number five, I'm also going to add a little bit of this sweet rice to it that I just cooked for meal three. Okay, here we are. I kind of made an audible for my last meal. My daughter asked me to cook her some spaghetti, so this is how I do that. I'm going to try something a little different tonight. I've got these Korean style sweet potato noodles. Turns out to be a clear noodle, I'll show you in a minute. They're gluten-free and I really like them and they're easy to eat. 20 ounces of ground bison, 10% fat. Got some organic olive oil, basic and garlic. And I use this seasoning by Flavor Guys, the pizza seasoning, to make it special. Sweet potatoes, noodles go in, four minutes. The water's boiling already. I got the pan up to temperature. It's really important when you cook meat that I find that this surface is hot, so as soon as that meat hits, it sears. That's what makes meat good, generally. It kind of keeps the water in. It should sound like that. That was good. Pepper. Salt. Today I'm going to try this sage. I just want to show you real quick what these noodles look like. They're clear. They've got a great texture. They're loaded with carbs, and they're gorgeous. Okay, sitting down for this last meal. My appetites are like a three <laughs> out of 10, so I'm not real hungry, but still, I've got enough to put this down. And here's the finished product. You got the noodles. You can see the olive oil I kind of put in the bottom. On top of that, I put the uh, pizza seasoning, then the bison pasta sauce right on top. Okay, it's 12.50 and we're not done yet. I feel like I got a little bit more room in there and uh, that last meal went down pretty easy. So I'm gonna finish it off tonight with some blackberries, some blueberries, and I got a Gatorade kick in there. So I'll probably get another 250 calories out of this and go straight to bed. And those are the main meals that I make in terms of food that I'm cooking, I did my job and it's time to grow.